Amazon machine images and AMI includes these following things. Another important part that I wanted to share is the Amazon Linux 2 and Amazon Linux AMIs. The next point that I wanted to share is the AMI types. Hello everyone, welcome back to London Code. In this video, we will give you an overview of what an AMI is. So without any further ado, let's get started. So AMI is the Amazon Machine Images which are supported and maintained images provided by AWS. They basically provide you the information required to launch an EC2 instance. As we have seen in the previous videos where I demonstrated how to create an EC2 instance using launch template, using launch wizard, where we selected an AMI which was the Amazon Linux AMI. So these are the machine images which helps you to launch your EC2 instance and provide you the configuration details like OS, the architecture that you're going to use. So all of this is packed in these AMIs which are supported and maintained by AWS for you to launch the EC2 instance is easy and AMI includes these following things first is one or more Amazon plastic block store which are the EBS snapshot or instance throwback AMIs next is the launch permissions that control which AWS account can use the AMI to launch instances then the block device mapping that specifies the volume to attach the instance when it is launched so these are the main things that an AMI includes Another important part that I wanted to share is the Amazon Linux 2 and Amazon Linux AMIs. These are the most easily and quickly used AMIs which you can use to launch your EC2 instances. They are supported and maintained Linux images provided by AWS. Why they are very easy to use is one, they are provided at no additional cost. So basically they come under the free tier. Next is they are stable, secure and they provide high performance execution environment for your applications to run on EC2 instance. There are a few other points like they have the uh, repo access to multiple versions of MySQL, PostgreSQL, Python, Ruby, Tomcat and many other common packages. Lastly, they include packages that enable easy integration with AWS services such as CLI, EC2 API and AMI tools. So Amazon Linux AMIs are very easy to use to run your EC2 instances. The next point that I wanted to share is the AMI types. These are the 5 things on which AMI is based on. Basically, when you are selecting an AMI, you need to consider these 5 things when you launch your EC2 instance. First is the region. So an AMI is region specific. You may find a scenario where an AMI is not available in a particular region. However, the same AMI can be found in another region. It is because the AMIs are region specific. So whenever you create and launch an instance, then make sure that you are selecting the AMI which is available in that particular region in which you want to create your instance. Next is the operating system. Basically, which operating system you want to have for your EC2 instances. Linux, Windows, Ubuntu, depending upon your requirement. Next is the architecture, uh, which is 32 or 64 bit. Then we have the launch permissions. So, launch permissions are decided by the owner of the AMI. Then we have the storage of root device. So basically all EMIs are characterized into two categories. One is the backed by Amazon EPS or either backed by the instance store. When the root device for an instance launched from an AMI is created from an Amazon EBS snapshot, then it is called the Amazon EBS backed AMI. And when it is created from a template stored in the Amazon S3 bucket, then it is known as the instance store backed AMI. 
Last but not the least, I wanted to talk to you about Newton School Full Stack Developer Course, which is a great resource if you want to have a better package in IT industry. Newton School provides and guarantees to have placement offers of more than five LPA from top-notch companies like Google, Nike, Zomato, etc., without asking for any upfront fees, which is great. So do check out their Full Stack Developer Course. I will provide the link in the description below. That was all for this video. I hope you liked it and you found it helpful. In the next videos, I'm going to cover more concepts of EC2 instances. So till then, keep learning.